Hey everyone, Wanderbot here and welcome to Parish. It is a first person shooter slash kind of melee combat roguelike. It reminds me of if uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Is it of Might and Magic? I think so. Okay, I killed them somehow. Boop. Can I stab them where the sun don't shine? What am I doing? Light four stone braziers. Cool. Yeah, I, I she was saying something, but I was trying to do an intro and then also combat. It gets confusing. Uh, there's one. I don't have much for resources, which is a bit of an issue. There we go. Luckily, kick is king. Now if I pause, okay, I cannot pause. I know you can parry enemies. I don't know how necessary that is. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm kind of under the clock here. I don't know if they get harder, so I'm gonna try and boogie. Rather than kill time too much. Let's see. I don't know how much faster that... Uh, faster they are compared to me. That's okay. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, I gotta move that. I gotta move that kick. Yeah, I think I can maybe just do that forever, but I really shouldn't. So let's just snag this. Any game that lets you just kick... Whoops. To this degree is super solid, in my opinion. Nope. There we go. I really gotta switch that away from V. V is like the worst key for a kick button. Because you pretty much cannot uh, strafe and kick, but I can't do it while enemies are endlessly spawning to kill me. I like the idea of doing it for, uh, for more money, but I don't even know if there's much of a reason to go for more money at the moment. There we go. Thank you for the cash. Okay, is it only one left? I think it should be only one left. I'm also seeing like a runestone looking thing that I think I might want to snag. If I can. Oop. Excuse me. Okay, codex entry. They do have ranged attacks, but I think they only use them if I'm out of range. So I'm just going to kind of run away from them a bunch. You might notice I keep pinging. It's because I'm hitting the C button instead. Whoops. Yeah, that kind of missed. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, objective is complete. Am I good? Hi, blocking enemy attacks deals lightning damage to enemies. Restore health or Dark Messiah. Kicking enemies deals massive damage. Well, at least they uh, seem to know. Please be the end of enemies. I wonder if it increases the physics. There we go. I like all that extra damage. But I'm not entirely sure. Whoops. I'm curious about this whole massive damage thing. You know, how massive is this damage we're talking about? I have no idea, but I'm seriously hoping that we get a certain point where I'm not just having endless enemy spawns coming after me. Wow. My leg extends. Holy smokes. Excuse me, sir. I think I just one-shot suckers with my leg. Eat leg! Eat leg! Oh, my girthy thighs will carry me forward. Literally and also literally. Whoops. Now let's just stay away. I don't know really how much I need to- Oh. Well, I'm dead. Somebody just shucked something at me. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'll just take the currency. I- I need to rebind kick so it's not on V. I can't play. I cannot play with that button. Alright. Let's see what changes. Enter the portal. Your odyssey begins here. 
clearly I've got currency of some kind. Uh, anything I can do with this? No, but first and foremost, options. I don't know why V is like the common control for something as critical as kick. Okay, thumb mouse button. Thank you very much. All right, so now I can 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 like the best of us. Ooh, and I can 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 on the go too. Yeah, that was not super obvious that I could do it earlier. Look at all this lore. Alas, I do not care. So it does look like there's a little bit more of a Greek stint to this than I expected. I wonder if there's uh, meta pro Oh yes, there absolutely is meta progression. I keep trying to dash and then instead I kick like a fool. So I have 144 currency. The problem is I've got, uh, well I don't really have a weapon. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at weapons. So we've got Ponus, obviously. Will it not let me buy any of these? Maybe I have to unlock them. Maybe by finding them? Byzantinian cannon. Oh boy, Harvest Scythe. Uh, crown. Max health set to one, but Danak is worth twice as much. Eh, it's there. Prosperity ring is too expensive. Uh, oh right, daggers. I forgot, I forgot I have daggers. Well, oh. Are these quests? Quest to unlock things. All right, so I'm going to grab uh, Dionysus, Sorcerer of Spontaneity. Kick 25 Athenoia into spike traps. That seems like a uh, adequate quest to pick up. I should have no trouble completing that one. The main thing I need to watch out for is when the enemies start hucking daggers at me. That's when I, that's when I cannot survive. It also seems like rushing the perks. Oh, I see. Huh. That's a lot of enemies. Survive the ambush and escape. Here's the thing. Do they take damage from my kicks? They did previously. But I'd love to know... What I'd really love to know, though... Oh, I don't know. I guess we also have the saltpeter jar. Do we? I thought I did. I can throw a dagger. Yet, yeah, it might almost just be most practical for me to walk backwards and swing. These enemies will just kind of walk into my hits, and despite the fact that I'm just wielding a hilt... Oh, are we done? Okay, daggers have a small chance to spawn a cluster of spears. Daggers explode one second after com content or contact or attacking enemies chance to invoke frenzy. I'll go for the miasma. I don't know if this includes kicks. Now it's time to find out. Oh, my kicks do kill. Yes, kicks cause madness. Sparta. Okay, and we completed our quest no problem. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think the madness inspiration is particularly dire. Whoops. Yeah, unfortunately, the enemies have a bad habit of spawning directly behind me. So, I guess I should probably not tarry. Well, looks like I got my daggers back, so I guess we don't have to worry about resources too much. Oh! Weapons must be discovered in chests before they can be bought for a price in the Pantheon. Price in the Pantheon, okay. Restore one health, well that's good. Uh, let's see, we can grab refill consumables. What was the, what was the button? I'm gonna go, wait, nope, that's codex. If I go back to this, controls. Fire, consumable. Consumable is Q, so I thought I'd be able to throw the, uh, the jar, I have no idea. I'll break those, what else do we have here? Kick to unlock Labrys, Hey. We've unlocked it, but do I not get to use it? Oh, that's unfortunate. And you can also see how well I rank. Do I get another blessing? Yeah, that sounds like I'm screwed.
Okay. Yeah, I can't be, like, too far from these guys. Oh, you're supposed to be maddened. Not chasing after me with a death wish and a murder wish. Yeah, there's probably another one showing up. Oh. Homeboy's got lightning. I'm going to stay away from that. Something's shiny over here, so I'm going to go check it out. I also have the objective of kicking dudes into spikes, and this is like the first set of spikes I've seen in my journey. So I kind of want it, but I want to see what's in here first. Okay. So we've unlocked Zophos. We've got whatever that is. Excuse me, sir. Nah, I just have to kill this one. Ideally, what I want to do is hang out near one of these. Oh. Uh, but we have Zap we have Zappy Chew here. And I kind of have to deal with that. Excuse me, sir. Ow. Yeah, you chucked that a little fast. Or what else do we have around here? Because it seems like there's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's fun. You can see the spike traps. Okay, that's kind of fun. Aw. That didn't quite work. It is raining blood. There's a lot of blood, too. Uh, let's see. How much money do I have? Not a whole heck of a lot here. I mostly just don't want to get lightning bolted in the back. Because that would upset me. More than a little. Because, like, I don't want to turn my enemy to my... Or, turn my back to my enemy. But I also recognize that, like, I can't go anywhere unless I do so. Well, you look ominous. Alright, well, well, I'm here. And I'm dead. Yeah, I should have dodged that. I thought I would be out of the way, but I guess he's a little wider than I thought. Well, six minutes on a run. That seems to be the standard. I definitely need a perk other than my asthma. That was not that helpful. Now, here's the question. Okay, so 25 Athenoi into Spike Trap. So, I did actually complete a decent chunk of that. Well, decent chunk. I completed three, but at least we know I was kind of on the right track. Let's see. Rings. Right. Rings are way too expensive. Weapons. So now I could unlock Labyrinths, but I don't have quite enough. Same thing with Zophos. I think once we actually have these, then it'll be easier because Ponos is useless. Uh, so I guess let's just hope I can get a little further than the Minotaur. I might also not try and interact with the statue and just go for Golden Portals. See if those just bring me to regular side questy zones instead. I like the idea of this so far. Execution is kind of remains to be seen. Uh, I like the perks by completing these. Sounds like this is another one of those kill do. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. So bad news. I can't kick him. But I might be able to do other things to him. Okay. Despite being absolutely scuffed, this dagger has, like, a shocking amount of reach. Also, daggers don't seem to be a consumable item, so I can just throw them freely. Okay. All attacks, including kicks, deal extra poison damage. Periodically deposit puddles where enemies may fatally slip. Healing fountain can't be used, but 25 kills. I don't know, I kind of almost want this. All attacks, including kicks, deal additional poison damage. The puddles sound kind of fun, but maybe not that predictable. Whereas being able to do poison damage to just kind of kill a couple enemies, 
That sounds good. And yeah, it just insta-gives them. Well, it doesn't insta-give them, but it kills them on one uh, one kick. I mean, okay, maybe, maybe not quite one kick. But you know, one kick, one strike, give or take, messes them up. So let's see what else we have. Because I'm seeing something up here. Okay, I don't think the daggers do a poison, which is a little unfortunate. I was really hoping that would give me poison daggers. But yeah, you can just, you can tell I've, uh, one kick kills an enemy on a slight delay, and that is, that's something worth, worth it for me. I'm gonna actually farm some currency here, unless it specifically tells me I should stop. Nope, that didn't work. The problem is, I need, like, a kick that kicks harder. I need a kick that yeets. Nuts. Because, yeah, I gotta kill 25 guys by, by doing big kicks. Which is a little rough. And so, like, having the Dark Messiah kick would have done the trick. I mean, this will give me a lot of money at the very least. And we certainly need that if I want to replace my weapon with something a little bit less, uh, trash. That didn't work. Okay, fine, let's get out of here. I think I missed with a kick or something. Now, if I could have, like, a much wider kick, that would really do the trick. That is nothing short of incredibly satisfying. Just seeing one enemy pop up in front of you and then just honk, and they're gone. Okay, so we are a little injured, which is a little rough, but so be it. Okay, I don't actually want to ascend, I kind of want to go there. I don't think there's anything else. Ascending might be fine, but where does this take me? Oh, wait. This just brings me back? What? And took away all of my currency. Enter the portal. Your odyssey begins here. Wait. What? Okay, so... Do wait, no. I do have currency. I thought for a second I had nothing. I think I've lost my kick, but at least I get to keep my stuff. Uh, so we can now buy Labrys. I should probably consider buying the gun, but it is too late now. So what else do we have? Arc, glass. Strikes enemies with powerful lightning. Increases speed of strikes when more players with crown arc crowns are nearby. And this game is four-player multiplayer, which actually is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Vitality shard is the one I want to grab, but I guess I can't get it. You can also get some of these. And then we have the rights. Uh... 50 Ophidians using the Ponios. 25 long-range dagger kills on Athenoi. Oh, but we can only get one. Okay, let's just stick with my kicks. At least now I've got an axe. I don't know if it's any better, but still. So now we know we can keep our resources, but I think I lose my perks? Maybe. Uh, I'll have to keep an eye on it. It's a bit of a shame I liked that poison kick. That was, like, really fun. But, alas, no dice. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. I really appreciate the fact that daggers seem to be, um... Pretty common. Well, I just get infinite ones. Movement in the air, 10 dagger kills, shields added to your health bar, or... Let's go for dagger a Aegis. I wouldn't mind going hard dagger. I just need to actually kill enemies with it. Okay. 
Yeah, so it looks like it takes vaguely about three kill, three hits to kill one of these guys. One, two, nope, okay. Maybe one axe kill, nope, all right. Maybe just three daggers to the face is the trick. And then I just gotta wait for them to come back. I'm curious about how this game is gonna perform once I actually have, you know, guns. Because I feel like that's gonna open the game up or make it kind of uh, homogenous. We'll see. Oops. I wish enemies behind you were noisier. There we go. But I like the axe. It, uh, treks. It's a lot of damage. Alright. And yeah, I can pretty much just, uh, kind of abuse guys with it. I don't want to farm for currency forever, though, so let's, uh, get out. Currency is kind of meaningless unless I actually have something to unlock, which I guess I kind of do. Uh, 3,000 currency would get me some stuff. Oh, right. Unless I want to do some kicks. Maybe I might want to do some kicks for a little while. Let's go farm that up while we're here. I'm not particularly, uh, possessive of my, um, of my current perk. I've already forgotten. Oh, right, it's the dagger one. Like, that's good. But, like, not that possessive of it. And I don't want to deal with, uh, well, I don't know. I just want to get as many of these unlocks done as possible, plus it's really fun actually kicking dudes into the spikes. Just because, I don't know, it reminds me of Bulletstorm in the best possible way. That game was golden, and, like, I'm actually shocked we haven't gotten a roguelike FPS that uses heavy physics kills more. I mean, I guess this is one, but I don't think it's really intentional. I think it's, well, I mean, it's intentional, but I don't think it's supposed to be the main way that you play the game. I'll even Bulletstorm, it felt kind of counter. No, nope, that didn't get him. You are too close. Fine. Die. I completed this quest. Five more. Ow. Rude. Two, three more. And yeah, I can afford not to have the health. Okay, let's go over here. It's a shame when I miss my kicks. Boy, if I can get a consumable health potion, now that... That would do some lovely things. Alright, he's dead. Let's get out of here. I got what I came for. And this is the exit. Level design is kind of here and there. As far as I can tell, it's kind of the same level. I was really hoping two axe swings... Uh, one axe swing could kill two enemies. Maybe it can. Didn't feel like it there. Alright, snag the health. Refill consumables. Not that there is one. Labrys is already unlocked. And I guess I must ascend because the other direction... Where did you come from, sir? Well, it's fine. Okay, so let's kind of speed run this. We don't currently have an objective, so I might as well just go kind of fast and get the objective done rather than eating lightning bolts to the Tukis. There might be other perks worth going for, but I'm gonna go for this one, first and foremost. Whoa. Okay. Uh, right, there are spike traps that I must worry about. Quite a lot, actually. Am I slowed? Oh, I'm low health. That's rough, and also why? Oh, 
And fortunately, the enemies really like to... I think I got killed because of spikes, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's rough. Maybe I should have farmed for the gun. This would probably be a lot easier if I had gun. Now, here's the question. The currency that I had before I started the run, does it get added? It looks like I, it does, yes. Your odyssey begins here. So that is useful. So let's go back to this. We've also got the libation jar, whatever that is. Um, flip on libations. Okay, that actually sounds kind of fun. Blocks all enemy ranged attacks for 15 seconds. Interesting. Well, do we want to try the gun? Let's give it a shot. It looks like... Okay. It looks like I've just got the pistol. Headshot 30 enemies and kick, kill enemies after kicking them, kicking them to the floor. That seems reasonably easy enough. I don't... I don't quite like the fact that the enemies are spawning just kind of everywhere. I don't know how to describe that. Okay, just got to make sure I don't, uh, I'm not too slow. Because I need a lot of headshots here. Now here's one thing I can do. Or can I not? Oh. Oh, I mean, that was pretty good. How many headshots have I gotten? Two? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, this makes it a bit better. I don't think I actually got the headshots quite. I'm getting a lot of kills though. So dash power, double damage, next regular attack, lose your current, Tanake, gain double, Miasma. I'm gonna go dash power, not that I really care too much, but still seems kind of useful. Does that actually count as a headshot? Presumably? I have no idea. Spartan Sandal. What? Not sure. It's fine. Yeah, I should probably use the dash more. It eats dudes for breakfast. Alright. Well, I gotta say, game feels easier with gun. There we go. Got out of there right before I took the hit. It also looks like there's a bow, which is kind of fun. But, eh. I don't think that does anything for me. And I can also swap my gun for a melee weapon if I wanted to. I don't really want to. Okay, so what are we doing? Find and release the Eidolon from its cage. Okay. Depends kind of what kind of Eidolon we're dealing with here. Just like Ifrit? Okay, got anything else? This icons, I don't know. Yeah, so if I dash, I can just kill the lightning bolters. Problem is, we're still going to have... Gnarly rude dudes. Still coming after me, and we're here again. Release it from its cage. Well, there's this thing, whatever you are. And now I must absorb it. Which means hanging out here? Alright, stay within the circle. 
I mean, luckily easy enough. There we go, got it. Alright, Gambler, Surplus. Uh, let's see. Athenoi enemies support full sets of armor for one objective. Survival grants plus three bullet penetration. Uh, let's go for the reload. Faster reload seems like a good idea. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Sirs? I'm trying to leave here. Alright, looks like I'm fine. There's more enemies coming, but I think I'm fine. I'm really curious about playing this game multiplayer. I could actually see it, see it being pretty good. Obviously, you're going to play it solo for today. Um, but I, I could see, like, a full complement of dude men. Being pretty good. I'm also curious about all the different weapons. Because, like, right now the revolver ain't bad. I don't... I'm not finding many of my upgrades to be particularly interesting. But that's probably fine. So how are we doing on headshots? Eh, not great. I don't know if that counts. Oh. Okay, gotta worry about that. Excuse me. I want to get through myself, but I don't want to have to deal with, uh... An enemy deciding to collide with me midair. Well, that's funny. Okay, there's one priestess. Nope, didn't get it. All right. Then there's him. Oh, this is like the worst place to have to defend. I take that back. This is fine. Did he die? He did die. I think there's a really unfriendly dude. Yeah, it's one of the... One of those guys messing with me. I have taken damage. Okay, he's dead. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, control movement while in the air. Okay, I think it just died. Lucky me. Whoop. Don't get toasted for long. Okay, that's done. And what I want to do is kill enemies that I've kicked. That's not a as easy as it looks. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Looks like I'm going all the way over there. Seems like I'm going the right direction. I see some glowy though. Which like I know glowy is new stuff for me. I'm trying to take some heads off. Right up the pooper. There we go. Alright, anything else? Yes, you. Alright, just stay awake. I'm just going to keep rolling. So it wants me to go that direction. I think I see it. But I'm going to head over here all the same. Ah, 
that didn't kill him. Uh, let's see, anything interesting in here? Not overwhelmingly. I'm gonna double check anyway, just in case. Yeah, luckily they lead their shots. Ooh. Yeah, don't fall into the void. I didn't even know what that's going to do. Ooh, lucky me. I don't know what Eos does. Ow. Got it. All right, cool. Now I just have to get over there before I get batted again. And the bat... The bat dudes are not nearly as bad. As if I'm running in circles. They're a lot worse if I'm going in straight lines. Because they can just track me. There we go. Am I... Not free yet. Wow. This level's, uh... I really can't do that. That's frustrating. Okay, please don't kill me right before I hit the portal. Dang! That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good run. Still kind of spooky scary, but it's fine. Okay, so here's the question. Do I keep going with what I got, or do I pull it back... Now nah, let's keep going. You are not supposed to be here. We have been led astray from our path. There must be an interloper between us and the labyrinth. Okay. So we have some kind of bad boy living here. Lair of the Cathrao, or whatever it's called. Pronounced. So presumably there's something in here. I'm seeing a lot of mirrors, which is a little ominous. Yeah, you're spooky. What? Okay, that's even more unsettling. Okay, they run at me screaming, clearly. But is that it? Do I just shoot this thing a bunch? I think that's the answer. But the big scary demon thing that I was worried about. Oh, I see. Sucker's got two heads. Oh, I see. Ow. Got stuck in the portal just briefly enough. All right, that go there that goes. Damn it. Once again, stuck in the portals. Yeah, I think this would be maybe easier if I was playing multiplayer, had a second person to kind of work with me, but I think it'll also get easier as I unlock new tools to play around with. I was really hoping I get some more interesting power-ups that specifically boost my damage. The poison was good. I wish I hadn't lost that one, but oh well. Plus now I've got Rudy Tootie Gun and Shooty, which is pretty good. But yeah, what I should probably have done was just like bailed, come back. And we also have, oh, we also have the Acolyte appearance. Sure, why not? Consumables, yeah, it looks like a lot of these I'm going to have to get either by playing through the game normally, or, yeah, I should use the, oh, I actually am not using any of these. Well, I don't have Toxitai any, anyway. And where's the Libation Jar? Oh, it is here. Kind of expensive. Good to know, though. 
Uh, and then there's glass, but yeesh, that's, I mean, good for farming money. What else do we have? Because that's extra money, which is good. Extra health can be upgraded. Dagger damage doubled. Dagger pouch. So maybe I'll go for the, uh, this one. Upgrades health ring to add an additional health chain and an additional health chain. I mean, honestly, just having one ring would be nice. I have no idea how to unlock it. It's probably an erratic right, right, if anything. So do I want to... I mean, I might as well have the long-range dagger kills. Because pestilence sounds pretty good. I think a lot of my... Ooh. And we also have Eos. Oh, but I can't... I can't afford it. Looks like it's a Zweihander. Sort of? Zweihander or Flamberge, but it's like a shorter one. Uh, let's see. And my only immediate problem with stuff like melee combat in this game is the, um, the ranged enemies can shoot you, and those bats are going to be even worse. Though, now that I'm looking at it, active upgrade, cast a powerful penetrating laser. Maybe that's not that hard. Oh, hit two enemies in one swing 20 times, or cut off the limbs of 80 Athenoi. There's a lot of progression mechanics here that actually seem kind of fun. I think the biggest issue is uh, this game's kind of brown, kind of like extremely brown, which almost works. Um, but I wish it was a little bit more like gilded looking or something. I like the combination of the, I mean, I guess it is pretty gilded looking, but a lot of it gets lost in the darkness and kind of the crumbling architecture. No, maybe it is very gold and I just, I'm just kind of taking it as yellow. Because I'm pretty sure all of this is just liquid gold, not lava. I don't know. Uh, what was I going to say? I like the first-person shooter aspects of it. I think my biggest frustrations are just the fact that there's infinite enemies coming at you all the time. Good for farming, kind of... Good for farming, good for multiplayer, a little iffy in terms of connection. Because it almost feels like, why fight enemies once you've completed your objective unless they're in your way? Or you want currency. And admittedly, you always want currency. Uh... But on the flip side, it, it feels kind of, I don't know. Like, there are too many enemies, and the enemies are too good at just sneaking up at you. and Or sneaking up on you and just, like, stabbing you from behind or shooting a lightning bolt. And the lightning bolts in melee are kind of rough. Because it's like, well, I have to get up close to hit this guy, but I know he's going to instantly zap me with a lightning bolt. It'd almost be nice if there was a longer, like, cast animation that locked them in place. So it's like, okay, block the lightning bolts or dodge now or something like that. The fact that you can get close and then they're like, pacha, and zap you gets a little frustrating. I also still cannot figure out how to throw my saltpeter jars. Because I should have a bunch of them, but could not figure out the button after the tutorial. So, question mark? It's fine. So, with all of that said, Parish is available now on Steam, uh, or at least... I think it'll be available on Steam in like the next two hours or so. I think it's pretty solid and it seems like the kind of game that if you can get a couple of buddies to play with you, oh, you're going to be in for a lot of fun. But with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then fall into the river of gold. Oh, it doesn't even have a cool like thumbs up animation as I melt. That's a shame. Anyway, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.